finally understand that the timing of all of this grace gift from God is unique. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4 says that in the fullness of time, when it had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, at the perfect moment. You see, if it had been too soon, there would have been things not ready for the spread of the gospel the way that needed to be done. If it had been too late, there would have been too much opposition and not, a much, not enough freedom of movement among those who would be the first followers of Christ. It was a perfect time. Perfect in the hearts of men and women, boys and girls, were a peak number. We're looking for a coming Messiah child king. A perfect time. Perfect time that when the opposition to the message of the kingdom of God would peak so that they would be desperate enough to put God's son on the cross for our sins. When he could wait no longer to offer the plan of grace, when the preparations were complete, God sent his son. You see, the grace assessment is based on the risk assessment of how important you and I are, have been to God for all eternity. That cross can't happen, could not have happened in any other way. The preparations were hundreds of years old. You go back and you look at Isaiah chapter 7 and Isaiah chapter 9 and in the Psalms and even all the way back to Genesis chapter 3 when Eve is promised by her seed that, that her seed would have a redeeming factor on all of mankind in the future. God had been planning this for thousands of years as a grace gift. Something that could not be offered by man. Or be obtained by the individual. Offered by God as a gift to all of mankind. Psalm 146. It's a psalm of thanksgiving. I had Kim put it up here because I want you to listen, read the words as our psalm of thanksgiving. And the sound of the rain, I'll read it slower so that we can stay in here longer, okay? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not put your trust in princes, presidents, senators, congressmen, mayors, councilmen, town administrators, school board trustees. Do I need to keep going? And pastors. Do not put your... Trust in princes, nor in a son of man in whom there is no help. His spirit departs. He returns to the earth. Why? It's appointed unto man wants to die. In that very day, his plans perish. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps truth forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and widows. But the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. Don't you, aren't you glad that that promise is there? There's a ton of wickedness going on in South Carolina. We are not immune to the most wicked of things that's going on in this nation right now, folks. And I will not be party to it. Hear me. I will not be party to sin. I'm willing to go to jail on principle. Not on stupidity, but on principle. Go to 
Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations, praise the Lord. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. Is that it, Kim? Is it only ten verses? Okay, I couldn't remember. The Lord shall reign forever. I'm going to tell you, folks, this is a crazy, crazy, messed up world. We think we've never seen this before. But you go talk to Paul. Rome makes us look like a, a picnic. I'm telling you, Rome, Rome was just a picnic. Greece was a picnic. Uh, uh, throughout history, there had been wicked, vile, rebellious cultures. There's nothing new under the sun when it comes to sin. It's just new to us right now. Um, most of us can't remember. Some of you can. And you have more gray hair than I do. The 60s. Folks, I, I told Leanne today. Well, I think it was today we were talking about it. There's a lot of this that just looks like the 60s to me. And you go back and you look at the history of, of our nation. The, the riots and, and the, the rebellion and the, the flawed thinking and just the, the craziness of it. But the 60s looked like probably the Roaring Twenties. And the Roaring Twenties probably looked like the 1880s. And the 1880s probably looked like, I, you get my drift. It, it is what it is. Sin doesn't change. It just metastasizes like a good cancer. Okay? Here's our promise. Verse 10. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. And because of that truth, praise the Lord. Because God is good. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good on a dreary, oh, listen to the rain hit the windows Sunday morning. And then some. Let's pray. I was going to do a response time, but I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to ask Brother Stan Thompson to get a time of thanksgiving. Then I'm going to ask Brother Herbert Thompson to continue our time of thanksgiving. And then I'm going to ask Mabel if she would close us in prayer at a time of thanksgiving. When Mabel finishes, you're dismissed. God bless you.